What are you drinking? Bloody Mary. That looks strange to me. It's how I like it. Regular tomato juice, filled about three quarters, add a splash of Bloody Mary mix with just a splash, some mint leaves, and a little piece of wine, but on the side. University of Chicago, right? Yes. Did you look as good at the University of Chicago? Uh, no. Did we ever... No. No! We drove from Chicago to New York together after graduation. You were a friend of, um... Amanda's. I can't believe you can't remember her name. What do you mean? I can remember Amanda, right? Amanda Rice. Reese. Reese, right. That's what I said. Whatever happened to her? I have no idea. You have no idea? You were the best of friends. Your friendship is what kept us from making it. We didn't make it because you were going out with her. Was it worth it, the sacrifice for a friend you're no longer in touch with? Harry, you might not believe this, but I never considered not sleeping with you a sacrifice. Fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. You were going to be a gymnast. A journalist. Right, that's what I said, and... I am a journalist, and I work at the news. Great. And you're with Joe. Mm -hmm. Great, that's great. And you've been together, what, three weeks? Mm, a month. How did you know that? You brought Joe to the airport. So clearly, it's early in the relationship. I never take anybody to the airport early in the relationship. Why? Because eventually, things move on. And if I don't take someone to the airport, I don't want anybody saying to me, why don't you ever take me to the airport anymore? Gosh, it's amazing. You look like a normal person, but actually, you're the angel of death. <laughs> Are you going to marry him? Uh, we've only known each other about a month, and besides, neither one of us is looking to get married right now. I'm getting married. You are? Uh-huh. You are? Yes. Who is she? Helen Hilson. She's a lawyer. She's keeping her name. <laughs> You're kidding me, Now what's so funny about that? It's just so optimistic of you, Harry. <laughs> yeah, of course you know. At some point in time, you just get tired of the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole life of a single guy thing. You meet a girl, you do the safe lunch, you decide you like each other, you move on to dinner. You go dancing, you do the white man's overbite, <laughs> you go back to her apartment, you have sex, and when you're finished, what's the first thing that goes through your mind? How long do I have to lie here and hold her before I get up and go home? Is 30 seconds long enough? That's what you're thinking? Is that true? Sure, that's what all guys think. How long do you want to be held? All night, right? See, that's the problem. Somewhere between 30 seconds and all night is your problem. I don't have a problem. Yes, you do. Okay. So what do you do with all these women you date? You just get up out of bed and leave? Sure. Okay, well, explain to me how you do it. Um, what do you say? You say you have an early meeting, early haircut, or a squash game. You don't play squash. They don't know that. They just met me. Oh, that's just... I know, I feel terrible. You know, I am so glad I never got involved with you. I just would have ended up being one of those women who have to get up out of bed and leave at 3 o'clock in the morning and go home and clean your hand irons, and you don't even have a fireplace, not that I would have noticed. What are you getting so excited about? This is not about you. Yes, it is. You are in front of all women, and I am a woman. I don't feel great about this, but I'm not hearing any complaints. Of course not. You're out the door too fast. I feel like I've had an okay time. Really? How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? I know. Because they... Yes, because they... And how do you know they really... What do you say? They think an orgasm? It's possible. Get out of here. Why? Most women at one time or another have faked it. They haven't faked it with me. How do you know? <laughs> because I know. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot. You're a man. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just that all men are sure it's never happened to them and that most women at one time or another have faked it, so you do that. You think I can't tell the difference? No. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Are you okay? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, yeah, right there. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. 